Hello, my name's Steve, I'm from beststuff.co.uk and I'm going to talk to you uh, about this. It's a Watts Clever Smart Battery Charger. It does double A's and triple A's and you might think to yourself, so what? These things aren't particularly unusual or even that interesting. Well, this one's a bit different though. So, um, you get the charger itself. It will take double A's and triple A's in the same bays, and you can mix them up if you want to. So far, so good. But this one doesn't only do rechargeable batteries. It will also recharge alkaline batteries. Mm. Alkaline batteries are those ones that you get in shops that say on them, do not recharge or not rechargeable. Makes you wonder how they got the power in there in the first place, of course. But with this, you can. Um, it's safe, because that's always a worry, because each one of these charging bays is treated separately. The microprocessor controlling all this. So what it does is senses the state of the battery. If a battery is overcharging, uh, it cuts off the power. If the battery gets hot, it cuts off the power. If you put the battery in the wrong way around, it cuts off the power. But we'll keep the power going to the other ones if they still need charging. So in the box, you get the charger itself. You also get two plastic boxes to put four batteries in, there's one for four double A's and one for four triple A's, it's kind of handy. You get the instructions and you get a power lead. This is the UK version, so you get the UK power lead with this one. But um, if you want to use it in another country, perhaps where the voltage is different, the US or Japan or somewhere like that, you can do, um, because this sorts out the AC voltage itself, it's switch mode. And all you need to do is to use a travel adapter on the, on the plug here. What I'm going to use is the battery from this. This is a hair trimmer I was using two, three days ago and the uh, battery died. It's still dead. You get the battery out. This is one single AA. <coughs> this one's a Panasonic one. I don't know if you can see that. It's important to use a proper branded battery, not some piece of um, unbranded junk that um, may have not been made that well. The battery needs to be in date as well. This one says on it 10 2016. We're in 2012 at the moment, so it's got plenty of time to run. And um, it also says, uh, do not recharge. It even says, actually, may explode or leak if recharged. Yeah, well, let's see, shall we? Um, so it's going to take about four hours to do this. So I'll recharge this battery, um, come back here, and um, put it back in the trimmer again. The... Um, charger itself, I mean you've only got to recharge four of these maybe four times and um, you've made all the money back that you spent on the charger and everything after that, it's all, all jam so to speak. I'm going to plug it in, see it goes through a little thing to set itself up. And you see that battery's showing red at the moment which means it's charging. We'll come back in a few hours and see what's happened. Okay, it's now just um, just over four hours later. The battery is still in the charger. As you can probably see, it's gone green. It means it's finished. For the record, I came out and checked it a few times, and the battery got didn't get warm at any point at all. Um, it's probably better if you charge a battery that hasn't gone completely flat. I mean, the one I, this one, um, had gone more or less completely flat. Uh, it's supposed to really charge them up before they get to that stage. Works better. But, uh, hopefully, this is still going to work. Um, it didn't work at all before. So, anything is really an improvement, I suppose. Right. Off to cut my hair. 
Thanks.